Um, so for today, as I mentioned earlier, through Facebook and other SNS like Instagram, I have created upgraded version of my study planner. My previous study planner is the format of um timetable that I can manage my schedule as a university student. And this is the upgraded version, which is consisting of yearly goal, coursework, annual planner, weekly task, website links, a diary database, and scheduler. Let me show you how everything looks like and it will explain you how it works. Okay, so now first, let, let's see the first row. The first row is consisting of three columns. First column is about yearly goals. Write down your goals that you want to um, complete on this specific year. Second row is consisting of calendar, exam preparation, template, and book report. The last one is about the coursework. If you're currently studying like me, then you can use this template to manage your course um, lecture notes and exam topic, grading system, and lecture resources as well. You can embed your Zoom link here. How to embed? Scroll and use this. Paste your Zoom link here and it will, it will automatically embed the Zoom link. So pretty simple, right? And for the weekly task, I have made eight columns, which is consisting of task Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. By adding your um task like coffee, like um, drinking coffee, going to gym, attend lecture, watch drama, cleaning room, doing coding exercises, reading book, and memorizing vocabularies, check on the box according to the days that you're gonna complete this task. So for example, I'm going to um clean my room on every Sunday. So I've only checked on Sunday checkbox. For gym, I'll be going to gym every day except Tuesday and Wednesday, and sometimes Sunday. So I've checked on Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. For the weekly task, um, since this is a study planner, you can add on other more study-related tasks. And here is the website link, study. This is not related to study planner, but you know, we, we cannot study every day, right? So this is some part that gives you the rest. And let's come for the diary database. So actually, as I um, talked at the very beginning of this video, this planner is created to celebrate that my channel has reached 100 subscribers. And that's why I've added more templates, more um, items inside compared to my previous templates. So I hope this is all useful. So let me show you a demonstration of my diary databases. The first one is diary, simple and easy. So in the diary template, you can just add your date, places that you've been, and your mood, weather, and you can add more categories that you want to fill in according to your mood. Write down what you have done on that day. So like diary template, remember your own day, mood, memories. Record every moment of your time. You can also add a photo like me and duplicate this, name it as Cafe Days, and simply drag and drop this to respective date, like this. And it is automatically embedded to the scheduler. And for the timetable template, I have created the two version. You can either use five columns here or a table version. I found that both are quite useful in other ways, so it's up to you to choose which template that you want. And for the checklist, this is just a simple checklist, like place to go, things to do, items to buy, and that's all. For exam preparation, I really like this template. I really like to use the relation function. So for here, this exam preparation is divided into two parts the study tracker and exam management. At the study tracker, at the topics that you have learned according to the specific subject and allocate the dates that you're going to review that specific topic. So if you're done like here, October 1st, October 3, you're gonna, you have studied um, topic one of subject three, then you can check it out. And since I have made relation between this exam management and study tracker, 
As you have added the exam topic of this specific subject, you can check your process of reviewing here. So first it's 60% done, but if I check on topic 4 now, I have made 80% of progress out of 100. So I have used rollup function to see my progress on reviewing the specific topic before my exam on 18th of December. And it works to other topics as well. As you can see, if I check this, then I have made a progress here. Going back to main page, this lecture note management here is working like this. I would like to show you a demo of um, lecture note, which is related to the main scheduler of the main page. So as you can see, I have added a chapter, the number of the chapters, and the weeks that I have learned that topic, the column to check if I have reviewed that specific chapter, the assessment tag, so which means that chapter 1, 2, and 3 is part of assignment 1, where every chapter will be a part of final. And this link main is the main function for this lecture node management template, which is in scheduler. Scheduler is this calendar view here. So as you can see, I have taken midterm on 19th, which is covering the topics of SVM, data pre-processing, decision tree, and random forest. So the reason why I have created this relation is because I would like to check my notes very fast. So this is empty because this is a demonstration and template version, but in my real study planner, I have added the notes here. So I could just directly check out my notes at the very front page. Same works as OS here too. And yep, that's all for the lecture note management here. And the annual planner, you can add your monthly plan, all your schedules inside. If you want, you can create another relation by adding properties here and using this relation formula. But for right now, I don't have any plan. So here it is. As you can see, there is a progress property to do processing, waiting for feedback and done. You can check your progress by the progress management view. So this is divided into four columns, to do, processing, waiting for feedback and done. You can easily change your status by just simply moving it. If you're done, then just simply drag and drop your block into done column and that's all. And the last one is the book report. Book report, you can record your book's author, genre of that book, progress, whether you have done reading or reading, or you're planning to read that specific book. Review, this is a review of your book. If you liked it, then you can give three thumbs up. If you didn't really enjoy it, then just give one thumbs up. If it was just okay, then just give two thumbs up. You can delete this property if you don't need it, it's really up to you. And here's the scheduler part, just add all your schedule, exam, lecture schedule, your academic calendar, your friend's birthday if you need, and everything, as no one is going to interrupt your scheduler here, right? The last part is the weather bar, just for decoration and displaying can remove it freely if you don't need it. Same as other templates, I will be uploading this into my share hub at this part here, template. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching my video and if you have any requests on creating new templates, you can leave a comment below. I will check it out and create a new template. And if you have any questions on using formula like relation or roll up, you can also leave a question below. I will try to answer as much question as possible. And I hope you enjoyed this video.